The last system in this concept, remember saying that I'm with that rant and there's going to be another one, is a joke. It's a joke. And this time sums it up of what a joke is as well. And the judge that sentenced Peter Lynch, who is sadly no longer with us, being Peter Lynch, may rest, who is just doing his patrutional right. His patrutional right, which is our right as citizens in this country, is to have freedom of speech. Do you know what I mean? As long as it's a friendly campaign, we're speaking our mind, we're not fucking talking about death and war and saying that war is dead. It is our patrician right to do so. But this time doesn't see that. Um, but, but as I was about to say, for the Dutch, what sentence Peter Lynch, calling him a danger and all this, you really are a stupid, senile, old fucking bastard. You really are what judges are today, and what they've always been, senile and stupid and behind the times and fucking dumb. And I find it hilarious, not in a sick, fucked up way, but I find it hilarious that all these prisoners, rapists, murderers, muggers, every stum in the universe gets released gets released because they haven't got the room to put them in cells anymore but they might have rooms to put Peter Lynch and people like him who just wanted to like, do their traditional right speaking their mind they could put them in prison they could put them in prison stupid there stupid mums should I go on I use Peter Lynch as an example should I go on that Starman says, oh, he's disgusted, he's ashamed of it and all this. Let's blame it on the tourists, because Dante probably will do. But no, 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 no. That shit's been going on for a while now. And, you know what I mean, this is what knocks me sick the most. It knocks me sick that we can, now we can go to prison for speaking our mind, we go on Facebook, put a comment, read this. But fucking, this is what makes me laugh about fucking Tis Starman. Makes me laugh because he's going Tommy Robinson. I bet he got his name right. I remember the last time calling him something else. He called Tommy Robinson in the House of Commons a thug, a double tosser, a thug. That he's letting thugs and stum of the universe out of prison because they're overpopulated because some stupid woman in fucking labour says the same thing they're overpopulated we have to believe some error i read this on a rant i said it on a rave i'm a man of my word i still stick by my word what a fucking joke and why the fuck do we pay our taxes why the fuck do we pay we pay our taxes right correct me if i'm right and wrong to keep stum in prison do we or do we not I'm sure they'll go up because Labour's corrupt. They are. They probably put me in prison just for saying that. Because we're not allowed to have our traditional rights anymore to have a freedom of speech that makes us interesting people. We're not allowed to do that no more. That's a no-no. And to Tia Starman, he called, he called Tommy Robinson a thug. He's now a common, he's going to look it up. But he didn't want him in there yeah, to be voted and all this. But you know what? Fuck, fuck you, Tia Starman. Fuck you with a typical fucking F because at the end of the fucking day he's not a double tartar he's not a thug he's a very outspoken man similar to me he's a realist and he's there fighting for your rights people to have a freedom of speech and I'll say it it's on the uh, blah, blah, blah. the 26th of this month say it again the 26th of this month in London he's out it's going to be a peaceful Speaks to Starman for you want to call him every name under the sun. It's a name for you, prick, and it sums up what you are, right? At the end of the day, it's a friendly speech, and he's sticking up for your rights, people. He's sticking up for you to have the freedom of speech for this fucking Dominic's fucking concept, what it has now become, where you can't speak your mind and you're scared, you're frightened, just they should go to piss and. And I'm sorry, it's corrupt. It's fucking corrupt. Labour are the most corrupt party going. When they can put a man who is 60 odd in prison, who's taken his life, he should have been rocked, he didn't, because the fucking let me dare to got less fucking stews. Oh, we can put someone like that and we just I feed them a speech, but oh no, we can let a thug, a real thug, a real lob, a real stumbag out of 
out of Nick. I'm, I'm telling you, I don't fucking, I just fucking cannot stand Stay Starman. He'll play in the Taurus, I'll die in D, everything that was job would be fucking Dossett. I just for a pat down story, people, I was off work today. Yes, I saw Boris to Donnelly's. I saw his fucking ugly face on that book. 15 quid. Are you fucking shitting me? What? Josh is less to get toilet paper, and that's all it's going to be. But that's a different story for another day. But nevertheless, Tommy Robinson is there fighting for your freedom of speech. He's there fighting for the working man, the working woman, the working Joe to make it faster. So I don't go around the houses. The working Joe. Tis Starman isn't. He ain't fighting for you as the workers. He's telling you're going to be more taxed because of you know what coming to the cluncer. He ain't fighting for your freedom. He ain't fighting for the working man, the working woman, the working jobs. I'm not going around the houses again. He's not. He's helping other cluncers out. He's locking people up for freedom of speech. And your judges are so fucking stupid. They're the dumbest fuckers going. They're the same as this old fagging Fuck what put Peter Lynch in prison. Same on you, pal. Same on you. This guy was not a tuple tosser. He wasn't firing. He wasn't whatever you called him before you dipped him a stupid sentence. Two fucking years. And so many fucking months. Fuck me, a pedo gets fucking less than that. A fucking pedo gets less than that. You really are a dumb, senile old fuck. Retire, or better still, fucking die. I know that's a horrible thing to say, but seriously, this fuck is an old man who took his fucking life. Should have been rocks. Should have been on the suicidal rocks. And he was let down. For what? For what? For speaking his fucking mind. Doing what I'm doing now, but having the door to do it outside. I'm doing it on YouTube. Having a bit of eyes to speak my mind. I'm going to get invested. I'm going to get fear for this. There's some two fucking senile old judges who don't know what the fuck he's doing. These are judges, people. What probably let a pedo out and do them less than this. This is a fucking judge where a guy would beat a woman after death and the judge would give him a fatty little sentence and a little slap on the hand and then let him out in a couple of weeks if he's a dud little boy. These are the fucking judges in this country who are fucking stupid, behind the times, wear a stupid Victoria's rig, died to that stick, fucking dumb, don't know what the fuck they're doing. These are senile fucks, people. These are senile old fucks who are thick as fuck. Don't know what the fuck they're doing, I've done. The sentence to diff so many stun bags today. I just say it, and I say it again, and I keep saying it. What the fuck do we pay our taxes for? What the fuck do we pay our taxes for? Half our taxes is for fucking stun to be where they belong, in prison, and they're releasing them early. And they're just diamond at the door, the Fucking door to go, fucking Tommy Robertson, a thug. This is a man what, what Labour used to be, fighting for the working job. This time is fucking out helping the fucking some other country out, which is going to put people out of business, people out of fucking work, the lot. Loads today out of prison, loads. We still got the comedy of sign seekers coming across the borders. We all know it already. Chase Dominic doing a fucking thing. He told he's blaming the Tories. Okay, okay, I'll, I'll deal with this one. I'll deal with it. The Tories are to blame. But now he's putting what? So many people in fucking debt. I'm sorry, right, but here's one for Chase Starman. In the late 90s, Labour was been announced to put this country in debt and they're still in debt today. That's the fucking Labour Party, by the way, before they blame the Tories. The Labour fucked up just as much as the Tories did when they was first in power, and they still turn up today. How the fuck did it is? Chase Diamond got in by luck. I said that the first time, and my man of my word, and I stick by my word. He got in the first time by luck, and luck only. But honest, so to Today, people, this is how amazing our fucking party being Labour, not fit for fucking human substance, taking stun bags out of piss and earlier. Be angry, be disgusted, because it was the die you voted, people. I said this, I said everything about Labour, and now I've got the last laugh, because everything I've said about Labour, about Dear Starman, could not be any true, could not be any better, could be fucking perfect. But again, 
Tommy Robertson, who by right should be our fucking Prime Minister. Even though Fred Hart's got it fucking right, he said it's more fucking beautiful. He said it's beautiful, he said what fucking this prick should be fucking saying, but woke because he's a fucking prick. He's a pawn life, he's a pawn. You don't know what I think about Tia Starman. So they go on. But then say Tommy Robertson is fighting for you, the people, to have this again. And he's fighting for the working job. He's not a fuck, Tia Starman. I don't know what the fuck you say, you don't know what the fuck you're saying anyway. Even like your mouth is full of fucking BS. You know, he's not once apologised or made a pronouncement of the loss of this man who was in prison. Not once has laid and fucking Tia Starman done. And he never will, because he's a fucking prick. And the judge would sentence him, he's a senile old cunt. Put me in prison, feed him a speech, get over it. You can get away with using them words, it's not threatening words, it's names. So I'm not swearing outside, it's not a fucking law. So you probably said to me anyway, you dash senile fuck. Yes, I'm drawing the judge what sent him Peter Lynn's in prison and the fucking sentence he's giving him. I'm going the judge, the judge what done that, I'm going him right and further on the rear. I'm going him a senile old fuck, either retire or do the world a favour and fucking die. One or the other, you stupid senile fuck. Where's the justice? Show me judge what sentenced that man. Where was the justice? Turn up like you and the corrupt system, what well, is fucking sort of been bonanized and sort of had people what know what the fuck the law really is. But they let stun bags out early, but there you go. And Tia Starman, well, they always say that you've got blood on your hands, and you are. You're fucking just an evil man. You could fucking load the food for old pensioners, so near winter they're going to feast to death. To be honest, you should be in fucking pissing. It's anger, it's anger. But like I say, Tommy Robinson, on 26th of this month, on a Saturday, he's out in London. People follow this man. This man is fighting for your rights to have freedom of speech again. He's fighting for the working man, the working woman. I'll say it all over again, the working Joe. So I'm not going around the houses. He's fighting for your rights. He's more of a man than the prat we've got in this country, who is running this country. I sort of say ruining this country. He's more of a man than he's ever been. He's not a thug, dear Starman. He's not a thug. You're a prick. And a big one. And not in a good way. I mean, the one on that way. And yeah, I'm going our Prime Minister a prick because you only know what I think of him. I fucking hate him if I pass him. He is a fucking prick. Put him in prison because he's a murderer. He's murdering all the old people in winter time by knocking off the fool. The pneumonia comes in winter. Who gets mostly gets pneumonia to his starming, you fucking asshole. But other than that, people, be smart, be safe. And if there's some justice out there, put this starving in prison, please.